Hello, what's up YouTubers? It's Dansky and in this tutorial we're going to be learning how to create a beveled divider in Adobe Illustrator. So to start with I've got my document here, I've got my artboard and I'm going to left click and select the rectangle tool, left click anywhere on the artboard and drag to create a four-sided shape. Now we can select our stroke and just click here where it says none, you've got the little white box with the red line through it, click that to remove our stroke, our outline, select the fill again and in the swatches palette on the right just pick a swatch that you're happy with. So we're going to double click here and I've got a swatch that I can adjust, tick preview to see any changes live in your document so you can adjust this and see how it will look. So once you've got a color that you're happy with just click OK. So we've got our four sided shape and now what we're going to do is select the type tool and I'm going to create some content so you can see that when we create the separator how it works at separating content. So let's just type the word beveled. I'm going to do this again, select the type tool, left click anywhere on the artboard and I'm going to type the word divider. Let's just drag those here. Now I want to make sure all of this is centrally aligned so I can just left click and drag over the four sided shape and the text objects. Go up to this symbol here where it says align to selection. Click that. Just make sure that it is set to align to selection. And then here horizontal align center will align everything. So this is now all centrally aligned. So that is great. Now I'm going to select the line segment tool and just left click and drag. I'm holding shift here to make sure the line stays perfectly horizontal. Now we don't want to give this a fill so if we select the stroke and then in the swatches palette we can pick our color so I'm going to double click white just make that a global swatch. A global swatch means that if you edit the swatch at a later date it will update any instance of that color in your document. So for example the four-sided shape here that's kind of like a sort of blue turquoisey color, if I were to double click this swatch and decide actually I want this to be green, I can adjust the swatch and it will update within the whole document. So a really handy time saver there. Now let's just drag. So if we click on our four-sided shape we see up here that we've got the X and the Y position relative to the artboard. We've also got the width and the height of this shape. So if we know that it's 911 pixels wide, we can copy that. Go to Edit and Copy. Or rather the shortcut for that actually is Command C on the Mac or Control C on the PC. And then we select our line and just change the width of that to either 911 or you can paste in that value and then press enter. And now all we need to do is just drag this in place. So I'm going to hold shift to keep it perfectly horizontal and you can see here it just snaps in place nicely. If you go up to view just check you've got your smart guides on that will ensure that it will snap this line to our four-sided shape nice and easily and perfectly in place as well. So now we just want to make sure that this line is vertically central to our four-sided shape as well, just so both halves are equal. So if we select both of these elements, so just the line and the, the blue turquoisey shape, and then we're going to click this option here, Vertical Align Center, and you'll see there, now both of these halves are equal in height. And we can just drag the word beveled and the word divider into the center. So there we go, we should have something that looks like this. And while this works absolutely fine as a divider, we've got the white divider that runs into the background, you can go to the transparency palette and we could change the transparency, so make this say 30% and you can experiment with lots of different opacities just to get different effects. So you could have something really subtle at 10%, so a very subtle divider. But what we're going to do in this tutorial is look at how to create a beveled divider effect. Now I don't know if it has a, an actual proper name but this is what I've called it because it creates an effect that looks like there's kind of like a dip, like a bevel where the divide is. 
So how do we do this? Well, we've got our white line, which is already one step there. So if we select this and go to Edit, Copy, Edit, Paste in Place, and hold Shift to drag down, we want to line this up so there is absolutely no gap whatsoever. There we go. And if we select this new line that we've created, make sure you've got the stroke selected there, and we're gonna change this to black. And I'm going to double click on the black swatch, make this global, and drag all the sliders to the left. So it is pure, 100% RGB black. So you should have something that looks like this. So now, if we select both of these by clicking and holding shift to multiple select both lines, go to the transparency palette and change the opacity to 10% and then zoom back out. You should see that it gives you a different kind of divider, a beveled divider. And if we actually, we can adjust the opacity even more so we could change that to 20% just to make it a little bit more pronounced. And then you can have the bevel running this way up with the white or the lighter line on top and the darker one on the bottom, or you could flip it round. So let's select our rotate tool and we'll just rotate this 180 degrees. And then zoom back out. Let's just change the color of the text to white. Now the good thing about doing this with using black and white and then applying opacity rather than a specific solid color to work with the blue is that because we're using black and white and a degree of transparency we can now select our blue turquoisey shape and we can update this swatch and whatever color we pick, the black and the white lines with their opacity on will blend through and and look okay. You know, it will work. Rather than if we had picked a specific color, so for the lines, and we didn't use transparency, the second we changed this big blue turquoise shape, these lines wouldn't match in color. But using black and white and opacity means that whatever color we select for our four-sided shape, these lines, this divider effect, won't need to be updated and it will work with any color. And what you can actually do, just to finish off, is select both of these lines holding shift, go to object and group together because we will always want these to be together. And then what you can do is left click, hold shift and alt to create a copy and just drag down. So if you were creating a nav bar, for example, you could create lots of different dividers quickly and easily once you've set up the first one. And there we go. That's how you create a beveled divider in Adobe Illustrator. As always guys, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please feel free to leave any questions or comments down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you next time.